In this example video, we're going to look at brief exercise 715, and we're going to be calculating our variable cost ratio and our contribution margin ratio, and then utilizing that to put together our contribution margin income statement. So they tell us again that Head First plans to sell 5,000 bicycle helmets that each are going to be sold for $75. The unit variable cost is $45. The fixed factory overhead is $20, and the fixed selling and administrative expense is $29.5. So they want us to calculate calculate the variable cost ratio and calculate the contribution margin ratio. You can calculate these ratios either using totals or per unit. So since we have the per unit values, we're going to use that per unit value. So our variable cost ratio is your variable cost. In this case, we're using it on a per unit basis divided by your selling. And in this case, we're using it on the per unit. So $45 divided by your $75 selling price, that means our variable cost ratio is 60%, meaning that 60% of our sales dollars are used to covering just the variable cost that we have in our business. So again, things like direct materials, direct labor, a variable selling expense, our variable factory overhead. So 60% of that is going to just covering those expenses. When we're talking about our contribution margin ratio, again, what we're looking to divide, a ratio is basically a fraction. How are we splitting a whole piece into a variety of smaller pieces? So what we're splitting apart is that selling price, that $75 sales price, into two pieces. How much is covering our variable? How much is covering for that contribution margin? So contribution margin per unit, again, $75 selling price minus the variable cost per unit gives us our contribution margin, which is $30, divided by that $75 selling price. So contribution margin per unit is 30, divided by the selling price of 75, means that our contribution margin ratio is 40%. The sum of these two percentages should get you back to 100% since our denominator is the same piece as that $75 selling price. So in part three, they ask us to prepare a contribution margin income statement based on the budgeted figures for next year and in the column next to the income statement to show the percentages based on the sales, the total variable cost, and the total contribution margin. So for us, we know that our helmets are going to be $75 and for the coming year, we're looking to sell 5,000 helmets. So we can either take that 5,000 and multiply it by the $45 variable cost per unit, or if we simply take that $375,000 sales price and multiply it by my variable cost ratio, it will get us our total variable cost. We subtract the two, gets to our contribution margin. So 100% is our sales. Again, if we take our total variable cost divided by our sales, we're at 60%. And if we take our contribution margin divided by our sales in total, we're still at that 40%. We still had 49,500 in total fixed cost. So for the upcoming year, if we do in fact sell 5,000 bicycle helmets, we would have an operating income the subtractors here, of a 100,500.